Hello, welcome to Service Class with GB Audio. On the bench today, I've got a Logix 3300 DVD player. It's got a very common problem. Uh, many people will be familiar with this. The drawer doesn't always open. It can be sticky. Sometimes needs a bit of a help to open. And this is often caused by a little drive belt that opens the door and it wears out or stretches. It's fairly straightforward to replace and I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing we'll do is if the drawer will open we'll pull it out to its full extension. With the mains power cord safely disconnected we can open the top cover which is held in place by these three screws on the back. Don't release any of the other screws because they hold important things together. With the screws removed, the cover should come loose and with a bit of a lift and a slide backwards, it comes off. If we slide the drawer back in carefully so that we've got this nice gap here to see through, let's have a close up. You can see down here we've got the motor pulley and the drive wheel for the door mechanism and here's a little belt which is very slack which is why it's slipping. Now that we've got the old belt out, we need to size it and we can do that by laying it along the edge of a ruler. We can see here that doubled over, it's measuring 45 millimeters. So the total length will be 90 millimeters. To get the right drive tension for the belt, we want to deduct about 10% from that. So we're looking for a belt of about 80 or 81 millimeters. And some would say you can use any bit of elastic that looks about the right size from the stationery cabinet or from around your broccoli in the supermarket, for example. But here's one of those. And as you can see, it's very unevenly surfaced. Uh, it's got rough bits on, but importantly, it stretches about three, four hundred percent of the original size. It's not going to be stable and it's likely to slip. It's not going to give you a good performance. Here's a precision ground neoprene drive belt, which does have a little bit of stretch, but only maybe 15, 20% beyond its original size. That's what it needs for the correct drive tension. Let's just check the size of it. Okay, so that's coming to just about 40 millimeters which doubled is 80 millimeters in total length. So now we've got our new belt. Let's hook it onto the main door pulley and then round the motor pulley. And there we go. So with the new belt fitted and the lid back on, we can reconnect to the main supply and pop in a disc to check that the drawer loads properly and that it reads the disc. If you found this useful, please subscribe to our channel and good luck with your own DVD player.